Hey guys, Stargazer 1331 back once again, bringing you part three of the Let's Play, which will be called Totem Hokum. But, as you see there, there's the clear gem from Jungle Bungle that I missed. What I failed to do was hop on all of those statues there that I, um, uh, that, that, I had to, that, I, that I had to blow up. They just hop all across them and then the clear gen is there. This music is having quite the field day. Fortunately, it's before the point where the door closes behind you, so I literally can just, can just backtrack to where, um, uh, the end of Cav- um, uh, where, um, um uh, the other level ended. Now, another really, really glitchy thing that's been going on, for some reason, at the entrance of where Totem Oakum and Insanity Island end, I kept them, like, hitting, like, a wall. Like, like, Crash kept them, like, falling on his ass for some- like, see, like, like, look at that. Like, see? Like, like, for no freaking reason. Like, in order to get out, you literally gotta, like, cause, it's like, it just makes no it is I, freaking sense. Aku Aku. My duty I is forgot to about that. You. you may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Aku Aku is a freaking useless sack of crap. Oh my gosh, is he bad? Because, well, sure enough, he does protect you from regular hits, but the whole, the whole, the whole when he, the whole thing when he says call me thrice, it's not the same as it once was in the original games. In the original games, you literally were, you, you pretty, you were pretty much God. Or, or, or as my friend Mr. Joe 97 likes to, like to call him, Band of God, at that point. But, at any rate, you literally were invincible to everything except for pits. I mean, you could still die if you fell down a ball in this pit, but nitros, TNTs, enemies, DP you couldn't touch. In this game, everything can kill you. And what I mean by that is, in turn, the invincibility is completely pointless. I'm dead serious. The invincibility is... It, it, like, the logic behind the invincibility is completely ass-backwards. Or bats backwards as a professor of mine once, once called it. And look, see? Like, 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 oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. I better be able to get out of this. Thank you. Oh my god. What do I keep on hitting? This game is so broken. That's a crash. Crawl your way out of it. Okay, there you go. Whew! Thank god. This is... I was like, don't you dare freeze on me, game. Thank you. <sighs> like, this game has never been a chore for me until now. Alright, well, at any rate. Gotta get some more gems. There's only like a few more I can get. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. More chicken hurting. Well, for those of you who've seen Star Trek, you heard of the term Nerf Herder. Well, Crash is a freaking chicken herder. There we go. Well, I only need one more gem, actually, which I actually just happen to know where to get that. Unfortunately, you cannot get it until you're at the end, uh, until you're almost ready to go to the iceberg, which is the next area of the game. Yep, so that about does it here. Get ready to see more doors close behind you, because that's what this game is all about. Like, oh, oh, snack, you can't go back. Too bad. That's true. Wow. What have we got? You, you, sir, are an utter dumbass. Listen, the music is delayed. I love it. That's what I should have done. I should have rolled back up. Yay, no music. It's delayed beyond all belief. You know what? Since the music is being screwed up, 
Oh my god, I, 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 I gotta think of what random song I can think of. Never mind. Man, man, I was, I, was, I was about to get into Brawl's theme song. You have to help me, Crash. You heard them. They want to destroy our island Alright, this cutscene is hilarious. Enslave you and steal my brain. How I envy the simple life of the part. tribes folk. What have I got? What have I got? What have I got? <laughs> Living in harmony okay, with Mother Nature. Okay, sure game. The noble boar. The humble bumblebee. And here comes the Dakamok portion of Totem Pogo. That's right, they had they, yeah, they, yeah, they call it Dakamok. Even though the level is still technically known as Totem Pogo. I know there's always one gem that I that I F up on in this in this place, so I always gotta remember where that gem is. It, 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 it isn't until the final uh, uh, final locale. So basically in this, you you you, you, you use this cortex while he runs blindly with a swarm of bees of uh, uh flying all over his face. Oh, now why couldn't this music screw up? Like it would sound hilarious if it screwed up. Oh yeah. Swarm of bees left behind him, and then a beehive, and another. I love how that other swarm of bees just stays in place. I love that. Man, I want this music to screw up so badly. No idea. Turns out the freaking boss screwed up. Come on, Cortex. Hurry up. Good boy. Oh, snap. It, it's, it's like a, it's like a freaking bear. Like Scoob. Freaking run, man. <laughs> Oh wait, maybe it's just some guy dressed in like a bear costume for some unknown reason. No man, like I highly doubt that. Alright, now I love this thing coming out right here where like, watch what happens in this fight. Like it goes through the bear and just doesn't affect him. Yeah, I, 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 then the bear eventually gives up, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, fuck you, man. So long, Chronic Land. And we are now at the end of Dakamok. Now, you literally don't even have to do anything because the cutscene will just take over. Oh snap, it's Papu Papu. Yep, Papu Papu, aka the first boss from the original Crash Bandicoot game. And also the first boss in Crash Bash. Yeah, no, I'm quite the, I'm qu I am quite the Crash Bandicoot um, uh, person. I mean, one thing I, even though I know the gameplay is a lot different than in, like, you know, Crafty Cortex and stuff. But I must say, the I must say though, I, I like the fact that they at least brought back some of the older characters and stuff. Oh look at that music delay! Which, I was so hoping that that other music would get screwed up. Who knows? Maybe this one will get screwed up. Oh no, you don't. Like oh no, you don't. Hey, hey, now don't stop that again. Ever, ever, jungle book. All right, I'm gonna have to be using that line from the Jungle Book a lot now. With that, hey, now don't stop that again. Oh, hello! Oh, hello, security fuck. That's right, security fuck. I, yeah. That, 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 that was a, a bum-ass mistake on my part. Okay. It's time to do that. Thank you. Oh, the joys and pleasures of this game. Ugh. Sometimes it can be just as pleasant as a pleasant as like a freaking dental drill. Freaking dental drill with a teeth. <laughs> Believe me, there's games that are a lot worse than this. Don't don't get me wrong. Now now now, there's no way that guard can see what's happening behind the oh crap. That's right, behind the oh crap. 
Yeah, that, that's yeah, that, 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 that's actual phrase that only exists in Stargazer's channel. Oof, that was close. I should have been screwed, but I was not. Now, I love how he's actually looking and seeing a tree fall. He's like, oh, oh, not, not, nothing, not, not, nothing to see here. Move along. Hurry, crash. Get your furry behind. Cross that river. Alright, now wait until he stops, and then, but also wait until the freaking boat comes over. Oh, yeah, he should be okay the next time. It's gonna be close. There we go. Stay hidden in the boat, you'll be all good. Now, sometimes I've had the boat literally, like, bump me in a way where, like, I became visible. Even though I was still crouched down, which I'm like, that is a game of crap you ask me. But, eh, that's his game. Yeah, some, some of the noble boards support. Now, what? Now, watch this little glitch right here. God damn it, I can pick those balls. You can actually get into that cavity. There you go. And also, like in any, like in this game, if you touch anything that's like not like a man, if, if you touch anything, even even one things that can't attack you, you can get hurt. Like watch this. Like see, like like that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a kind of BS thing about the game. You should be able to kill him. Wow, oh, just, just a total bunch of crap. Oh, now, now 
now we'll see what happened to Cortex. And there's a glitch going on right now. There we go. The, now, during that cutscene, the music should have already changed at that point, but yeah, it was still playing the old music. Yeah, he's just up to behind. You gotta, you gotta love this song, how it's freaking... How it's... Now, I forget the name of this song, technically, but I just remembered it was in Spongebob. So... So that, that's just... That's just goes straight. You can pretty much make any kind of reference back and just take it back to Spongebob. That's, that's just the power of that show. And I, and I, and I thank Stephen Hillmer for giving us that kind of power. For giving the show that kind of power to do that. So at any rate... For, for, for this part, you basically need to, need, need, need to body slam really worms in order to uh, get your way up to Cortex. So what I'm doing first is getting rid of all the enemies because it makes this part a lot easier if there's no more enemies to deal with. Because of course, since you're in one place, the enemies don't respawn. <gasps> the music's skipping! Yes! Oh my god, yes! I'm hoping you'll be the rock of my music, but this music works too! Wow, screw the camera. Ow! The yeah, I'm gonna bop you in the next week. Okay. Oh, yeah. Great. I gotta wait for all these doors to close. Yeah, cause yeah, there's, a, there's the yellow chat. up there in that, that, in that freaking hut up there, which actually I now remember how to get there. Yeah, because I just kept on missing that one for some reason. I mean, granted, I mean, that, that, that's like, that's like really tucked up here. Good. Okay, I'm sorry, that was, that was pretty hilarious. Alright, another thing you can take a look at is Papa Pop is sleeping, and there's no way you can wake him up. I, I, I think it hurts you when you touch him. No! Okay, that's like one of the few things you, you can you can you touch you can also get closer to him. And he's not gonna give he's not gonna give you crap. Oh my free boy. Anyway, kinda of go to this channel over here. There we go. That sh that might be the actually no, 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 there's, there's one more later on a a after this section. Alright then. Oh, come on, really? There we go. That should be about it for, for the enemies. Cool. Now we can finally focus on the greedy one. Yeah, no, it's usually, uh, it's usually good to get the enemies in the chance on with. Then just then deal with the main task at hand. It seems kind of back of one, but in this case it works. I don't know, spinning has no effect whether whether or not it hurts more, but it just looks cool. Now if you wait too long, the greedy worms will go back to the previous hole, so that's why that's that's why you gotta be quick. Okay, that was a delight. 
delay? That was a major delay. Ah, uh, poor Cortex. The world will never see Cortex again. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you'll see. I'm Jack. And Last Jam is coming up. I'll make these like little like sounds if you listen very closely. Like the trisman just makes these like random like noises of death. It just screams rapage every time you hear it. Yeah, that gym should be coming up soon. There it is. Clear gem and Totem Hokum is complete. So they got to the end of this technically. Can't catch me. No way in freaking dick can catch me. Yay, they're giving up. Alright. Like, like, oh, they're like running in place. One of them just like. Alright, let's see what happens when I like go toward them. Right, I've, I've seen them do some pretty weird stuff when, when, they're, when, when they're in that pose. That said, we are now back in Insanity Island. Damn, we were almost done with Insanity Island, actually. Moving on to the, uh... Wait. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna demonstrate how poor the, the, the third... The third Akawaku mask is. I'm sure I'll probably accidentally demonstrate that in another, in another time. There we go. I love it muffled that sound. I love the crystals oh, in the air. Crash. Oh, actually, I don't know. The farmer's market is tomorrow, and my wumpa trees won't grow. For my orchard is riddled with greedy worms. If you rid my land of these pests, I'll give you this power crystal. Oh, yeah, this is another great line coming from Cordex. <laughs> I'm an evil scientist. What do you expect? This isn't a game. That was slightly delayed. Like, uh, kind of is a game. Mm. Not sure. Mm. I think you can actually get two of them at once. Mm. That's it, dude. This way! I'm wondering if the boss music will get screwed up, too. Now the situation with the boss because it's another cinematic cutscene, so I'm gonna be skipping it. So I'll tell you any, I'll tell you in advance. Is um, uh, oh, damn it, try, here we go. Is that the uh, is that the evil twins, which are the main enemies, which are which are two mutated parrots, basically. They see that statue right there. They they actually bring that statue to life and it attacks you as a result. Right, because you can actually see Cortex's island in it. This is the only vantage point in the island that you can see Cortex's um, uh, iceberg lab. Now, sometimes I'm good at this boss and sometimes I'm not. It's a really easy boss, but the problem is that in order to deal a hit off of him, you gotta toss Cortex into the in, into that thing's mouth. And sometimes he doesn't always land in there. Sometimes he lands a little bit below, below it, which can be really annoying, because then you gotta deal with the hurt with that phase all over again. And so, like, like, that's how it works. And then, yeah, destroy those little idols just to just spin them. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's generally how you beat him. You just avoid him, wait, wait until he opens his mouth, toss Vortex in the mouth, and that's it. He doesn't really have, like, the only other, only other additional attack he has besides, uh, besides, like, that attack and then the grunt and the fist pound is that he shoots raises out of his eyes, but that's not until the final phase. Come on, man. No, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, never mind. Oh, wow, okay, yes, he can do it this phase. Yeah, but that's the laser eyes. Just, just keep on running and he'll be... There we go. There we go. 
crazed. I did it. Oh my god, yes. Crash, Cortex, win. Flawless, victory. Vitality. Come along! Oh, wow, glitch. Now that's what would have happened back, back in the uh, cavern catastrophe if um, I was able to spin once that cutscene happened. Alright, now since I'm about to go to another place, let, let's see if I'll hit like the quote unquote invisible wall. Okay, no, I'm not hitting the invisible wall this time. That's real grand. Alright, now, alright, this, this jam is a little bit tricky to get. Bam! That's it! And Sanity Island is complete! And not only that, so are all the other levels. And Sanity Isle, Jungle Bungle, Cavern Tashapi, and Totem Hokum. Oh boy! That's it. What the? Okay, I right, know, yeah, that, that, was, that was just my analog stick screwing up. Well, that, well, well, and there's the boat that will take you to Cortex Island. Well, well, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part, and uh, that said, um, stay tuned, um, uh, stay tuned for part, I guess it'll be part four, which, which will consist of the Iceberg Lab and the, and the Ice Climb. That said, see you guys later.